Hairs. El Rubio here at the Long Hairs Global Headquarters. Once again, it's good to see you here today where we're gonna talk a little bit about the proper technique for brushing your hair as a man. So we're gonna start off with the purpose of brushing your hair, which contrary to popular belief, the primary purpose is not in fact to detangle your hair. There's other more specific purposes. Generally speaking, is to keep yourself tidy and well-groomed. But the benefits of brushing your hair are beyond just detangling your hair. So first of all, brushing is gonna allow you to distribute the natural oils from your scalp, the sebum from your scalp through the rest of your hair. Secondly, it's gonna give you an opportunity to massage your scalp, which is going to stimulate the capillaries and the blood flow in your, help, in your scalp, which actually leads to helping your hair grow faster and bringing the nutrients forth to your scalp. Okay, when I say it's gonna make your hair grow faster, I don't mean like five inches faster in a month, okay? It's gonna promote healthy hair, good circulation, good blood flow, nutrients to the hair. You can only make your hair grow so fast, there's only so much you can do, but this is one of those little things. Finally, like I said, it keeps it tidy and just well-groomed, but the primary purpose, again, is not to detangle your hair. So, let's go into some different hair types. Obviously, I have very straight hair, so this technique that I'm gonna show you is more specific to straight hair, wavy hair, even a little bit curly. If you have really curly hair, or super curly, or even kinky hair, you're gonna go into some different techniques using some different tools, and in some cases, you might not even brush your hair. And we'll get into those in another topic. But for today, we're gonna cover straight to wavy to mildly curly hair. So let's talk a little bit about brushes. There's a whole different line of brushes. And to start with, really to get your technique down, you don't need anything super special. So really what you wanna start with is just a basic brush. This is typically called a paddle brush. And this has plastic bristles and what I really like to point out here are the little plastic balls at the end of the bristles. But plastic bristles are really nice because they're gonna go through your hair pretty easily and these balls will really help to stimulate the scalp as well. And this is just a pretty inexpensive plastic brush and I happen to get this one in Poland, but you can find them just about anywhere. Okay, we'll talk about different brushes later on, do a whole product review and what have you, but to start out with, just a basic plastic bristle paddle brush. All right, so let's talk about the conditions a little bit. This is typically for a scenario when I've just woken up in the morning, or I've just gotten to the global headquarters, for example, I haven't brushed or combed or really done anything with my hair yet. I probably have not washed it today, maybe last night or something, but in any case, this is dry hair. And that's one of the key points is you never want to brush your hair when it's wet. Unless you're using a dry, a wet brush, which is a totally different thing we're going to talk about when we do that product review. But generally speaking, don't brush your hair when it's wet. So I have dry hair. Uh, I may not have washed it in a couple of days or maybe as recently as last night. But again, it's dry and I have some tangles. I either slept on it or I just was on a roller coaster or skydiving or driving in a convertible and my hair is tangled as shit right now. So first up is I want to get the tangles out of my hair. And to start out with brushing, I'm not going to use a brush. I'm actually going to use a comb because the combing is much more for detangling. And let's talk for a minute about combs a little bit. I've got a couple of combs here. The first one I show you is a super sick, heavy brass comb really nice style design it's heavy it's well balanced it's got some wide teeth here as well as some more narrow teeth this is a really nice comb it does have a little bit of a downside with being metal and having some edges these edges tend to catch your hair a little bit so i'll still use this occasionally but i don't use it as the regular go-to because it will kind of tug my hair a little bit with these sharp edges so my go-to comb is just a super basic, you've seen this in some of the past tutorial videos, just a basic wide tooth plastic comb. And this is gonna be my go-to for most situations. And so I'm gonna start, phase one is to detangle my hair. So I'm gonna lean it off to one side and the key here is that you're just gonna start with the tips. And I am gonna actually hold my hair out a little bit and I'm gonna start at the very tips and just work some of these tangles out. 
And as I've gotten out of the tips, then I'll start going a little further up in the hair, and then I'll catch one. If you catch a tip really hard, just stop. Don't try to yank it out. You're gonna pull some hair out. You don't wanna do that. So just gently, and then kind of brush your hair out there a little bit, and grab a few more. Get a little bit more in there. Some more of the tips, some more of the tips. If you start too high and it gets stuck, just pull the comb out. You don't wanna rip your hair. And start a little bit closer to the tips. And then you work your way up little by little until you get all the tangles out. Now for me, I tend to get really tangled in the back. So that's the hardest part. So I really gotta go at the tips here and get a few of those knots out. Okay, and then finally I can start going a little bit higher up. All right, now I'm gonna go over to the other side. And same thing. I'm gonna start right at the tips. And then work my way up. And then work my way in. Until I get towards the back here. And it's a little bit more tangled. Okay, so I've got most of the tangles out. Now, I will give it just a couple of strokes with the comb. Not too many. And here's how I kind of test to see if I did a good job combing, is hopefully I didn't pull that much hair out. But you're always gonna get some. It's inevitable, you're gonna get a little bit of hair, but you wanna try to pull as little hair out as possible. Some of this is just ready to come out. It's a it's natural cycle where it's ready to go, but some of it was yanked out because of the tangles. So you wanna pull as little hair as possible out when you're combing. Now we've gotten the tangles out. Now it's time to get down to brushing, baby. So I'm gonna pull my brush back out. And since I've already got the tangles out, I really don't need to worry about the ends. I'm really not gonna focus on the ends at all. Here is where I'm really gonna focus on my scalp, on the roots, and really just the base of the hair. And I'm gonna do long, nice, smooth strokes with a fair bit of pressure. Uh, this paddle brush has a little bit of give to it as well, which is perfect. And I'm gonna allow the bristles just to really massage my scalp. And this just feels fantastic when I've already gotten the, tail, the tangles out. And just get a real nice massage there. You'll sometimes hear or read, it's an old wives tale that you should brush your hair 100 strokes a day. And it's just not true. You don't wanna do that much. It's over brushing. You don't wanna do that. Now I wanna get a few though, cause you know, it's great. And I wanna make sure that I get all the areas. So especially in the back, you could miss. So I go all the way to the back and as my hair has gotten longer, I've really started to realize when I brush the benefits because I can really see and feel the oil being distributed all the way throughout my hair. And when I'm done, my hair now is super smooth and shiny and the oil is just evenly distributed all throughout the hair. And it feels fantastic and it looks great too. So now if I'm gonna tie it up or whatever I'm gonna do with it, if I'm gonna braid it or whatever, it just goes back really nicely. It's real smooth, shiny, and it just looks great. On that point, brushing also gives you a pretty good indicator of when you need to wash. So after you've brushed, if you're ever not sure, give yourself two or three runs through with your fingers and if you can actually start to feel the grease and the oil in your hair, then it's gonna be time for a wash. But especially after brushing, really good indicator. Usually, for me, it's about two or three days, maybe four at most. Some people are different, have more or less oily hair, but usually in the two to three day range is when it's time for another wash. As your proper brushing technique. Quick recap on some do's and don'ts. Do, brush once a day. Do massage your head and your scalp. Do enjoy it. Don'ts. Don't brush when your hair is wet. Don't overbrush and don't brush angry. So there you go. Proper brushing technique. Thanks for watching. Try it. Do it. 
If this is your first time watching, don't forget to visit our website, thelonghairs.us. There you will find the men's aisle, a shop, finally, exclusively for men with long hair. You're gonna find some dope lids for your locks. You're gonna find these, the admiral, the commander, the captain, and the spy. You're gonna find this dope long hairs t-shirt and very soon, within a short period of time, the first ever hair ties for guys are coming in hot at the men's aisle, only at the longhairs.us. Also, when you're there, sign up for the blog for weekly tips, advice, and freshness for guys with long hair. Follow us on the social channels, but most importantly, keep letting it ride.